Hello, this is Adam Watson, and today we're going to talk about how to embed your Twitter feed into your Blogger blog. Um, I really like uh, Blogger. I use it uh, not least of which because it's a Google product. It's easily incorporated into my other Google uh, apps and things that I use. Uh, I have a blog website at watsonedtech.blogspot.com, just to put that plug in. But again, we're going to walk you through the steps as far as how to add that Twitter feed to your account. It's not quite intuitive. Uh, that's where I wanted to make this video. So first off, you want to go to your Twitter account. Make sure you're logged into it. And you're going to go up here for your profile and settings and go to settings. You want to scroll down here to where it says widgets. Choose that. And here, especially if you haven't done this yet, you're going to create a new widget to create an embed code that you're going to bring into Blogger. Uh, even though I've already made one, let me just make sure you understand the steps by clicking on Create New. You're going to see several different options as far as what you want your widget to be. Uh, the default, which is what it's on right now in the user timeline, is probably the one you want to use, which is we're following this particular account, yours by default. Um, you probably don't want to include um, your replies, you just want to keep it to your direct uh, tweets out to people. Uh, to allow it to auto expand photos, if you do tweet out a photo, it'll show up large in your timeline. Uh, and the other things, the height and theme and so on, I'll probably leave alone. When you're happy with the look of it, you can create the widget. Here, I'm just previewing it by seeing what it looks like. Again, you can see how these photos are auto expanded. Create the widget, we'll make a uh, widget for that and you can title it to make sure to know what it's called. Before I move on though, just pay attention to the fact that you could make other widgets. You could, for example, make a widget of all the tweets that you favorite, or a certain list that you've created and so on. So there are other options. Once you're happy, okay, and you've created that widget, I'm going to go back to widget settings, since I've already made one. And on here, if we choose edit, we can see this widget that we've created. Again, you can preview what it looks like. But it's the embed code down here that we want to pay attention to. That's the information that we need to copy. So we want to copy that information. Okay. So we're going to copy this. And then once we copy that information, we're going to go back to Blogger. Once you've logged in, and again, blogger.com is where you're going to be. Once you've logged into your blog, click on its title. We'll go down here to template, or sorry, layout. Templates where you change themes and so on. Okay, and the keyword here is the add a gadget. As you probably already know, you can add certain things to your uh, blogger, and you can move it. It could be above where the entries are, a side column, below, and so on. Um, that's up to you, but for the sake of argument, I'm going to click here for the Add a Gadget. And what you're looking for is the HTML JavaScript. That's the one that we want to choose. And when we go here, okay, first off, let's title it. So let's just call it, for example, My Tweets. Okay. And then you're going to copy in or paste in that information that we copied as far as from the widget, the embed code. When we hit save, it's going to create that widget. For example, the one that I made, I called at Watson EdTech Tweets. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this, but again, you would save it. Okay, and yes, it's okay. And once you have that widget created, you can, of course, manipulate it, put it wherever you like into your blog, and you're good to go. Just make sure that before you leave, you're going to click on Save Arrangement so that uh, the gadget you just added is incorporated into your blog. And that's it. So good luck adding those Twitter feeds, and thank you so much.